Right, so, what is going on? Seriously, what the fuck is happening? Last time I made one of these videos, we were cruising at the top of the league, all our players coming into form, sticking four past Juventus and looking like the best team to ever play the game. Now, we can't score, keep making mistakes and conceding anything that resembles a shot on goal. Also, half our squad is fucked with injuries or COVID, so another third or fourth place finish just feels inevitable again. But yeah, anyway, Wolves away. Woke up around 7 expecting the game to be postponed, but instead it was just my train that got cancelled. Left the house and headed up to Euston from South Wimbledon or Fabulous Panto as it's called now, still with no idea if the game would be on or not. On the tube up, I'm coughing uncontrollably, to the point that people move away from me, clearly thinking I was going to indirectly kill their gran or something. Got off at Euston where the Chels were already gathering with plastic bags of booze, fully committed to travelling two hours on a train for a match that may or may not happen. Platform's announced and the crowd turns into a swarm. I managed to get a seat on the train with no window, but luckily I get moved so I don't miss out on the beautiful views of the indistinguishable English countryside. I'm on my own because Covid is not only wiped out half our team but most of my mates as well. However, unfortunately, Ross Barkley is still alive and well. Spend the journey feeling a bit lonely, but not totally guided. I wasn't forcing down a can of lager at breakfast time for once. Also, I managed to shift one of the spare tickets I had to the geezer sitting near me on the train and caught up on the Jake Paul fight. So, you know, it wasn't all bad. Pull into Wolves and struggle to find the away pub as it's in the middle of a Premier Inn. The chairs are packed out with the queue going out the door and every conversation going something like, Do you reckon I'll be called off? No chance it's on, mate. No chance. I don't know why I bothered. Just before I got overcharged for a San Miguel, news filtered through of Chelsea's appeal to postpone the game being rejected and never before have that many people cheered about being stuck in Wolverhampton for longer. My mate arrives and the pub starts to get a bit livelier with the usual songs about girls with VD and necrophilia making the world's weirdest away become a little bit more normal. A couple more pints outside in the cold and we head to the ground which is hidden behind some university halls. There's probably not a club Chelsea have less of a rivalry with than Wolves. I can't think of any reason for animosity between them. This was shown when Wolves kindly decided to warm up the freezing away end by blazing fire right in front of it which was about as good as the game got really. Wolves walk out silver lining and the game starts. I'm in the front row behind the disabled section and start to worry that my cough from earlier might come back and wipe them all out. It's cold, foggy and the away end is shit. I don't get why Wolves decide to spread the away fans down one half of the pitch. Come on lads, if you're going to steal Watford's away end, you might as well use it. Nothing really happens until Wolves work a decent move and a dwarf puts the ball in at the far post, and Wolves fans start loving their aftergone music just enough so that it's incredibly funny to mock them when it's given as offside. The rest of the half is painfully dull so heading on the 38th minute where I settle for a Guinness as the lager selection is even worse than the game. I'd love to say the second half was much better, but it wasn't. It was even worse. The whole game just felt odd. The cold weather, foggy pitch, low tempo football, makeshift Chelsea side and Portuguese internationals you have no idea if they're actually any good or not made it all feel very Europa League-y. After 70 odd minutes of nothing, Alonso and Kante work a nice move down the left, Pulisic is in and oh, oh he's missed it. Great. Full time and having been worried the whole way up that the game might not happen, I now wish it didn't. We walk round a cold, dark, misty Wolverhampton, which for a place bidding to be the next seat of culture felt a lot like a dystopian ghost town before getting the train back. My phone went as dead as our title chance at this point, so you won't have any of the thrilling footage of me sat alone, tired, cold and fed up, with the Omicron variant no doubt flowing through my body at this point. So I can only apologise for not bringing you that brilliant content. So Wolves Away was a weird, confusing, cold and boring waste of time. One that really makes you wonder if you'll miss football during the next lockdown. It's all just a game at the end of the day though, innit? We're gonna play football, football.